What small thing makes you automatically distrust someone? They constantly talk shit about others but all the stories are skewed to their favor. I watch my mouth around people like that and try to only say things I don't mind getting out. People who can't keep something to themselves and talk about another person's private matters. I'm very private about myself, as trust takes years to build up but seconds to shatter. When they openly brag about ducking someone over. Edit, alright. I fucking get it. It's not small at all. It didn't register in my head when I was typing this answer. I get it. You guys can stop now. When they tell you all their exes are crazy. Edit. Proceeds to get flooded by people saying their exes are crazy. When someone borrows something and never attempts to return or mention it until you bring it up. It's said so often I'm not worried about giving it away. Mistreating service people, children, less intelligent people and animals. They told me not to tell anyone but. Never will trust someone like that. If they tell me other people's secrets they'll no doubt tell other people mine. When they judge others for the very things they're guilty of themselves. When I catch them lying about something very small with no consequences if they were to tell the truth. I don't trust physicians who never say I don't know. The most dangerous physicians are the ones who make a bad call and then defend it with all their might. Those who answer a question incorrectly with supreme confidence. If a doc occasionally says I don't know, let's look it up then I know I can trust your him. If someone happily tells you they've cheated on someone before. One of the biggest red flags ever. When they put a lot of energy into manipulating people instead of just living their lives. Edit, thanks for the silver. Also, many have pointed out that what I'm describing is a not a small thing. Overall, that's true. However, what I'm talking about is the small, subtle efforts these people make throughout the day. That's what came to mind for me when considering the question. One better syndrome, where no matter what your experience, your history, your anecdote there is is better, worse, funnier. If I can't sleep around them, must be an enemy. When they state something you know to be false as fact. Edit, as discussed below, it's more of a problem if they don't accept correction when presented with better information. I'm having some people over this weekend, I'm gonna have drinks and some food. You should come by. Weekend comes. Thanks for coming everyone. So today I'd like to talk about an amazing business opportunity. Hell nah, to the na na na. Not respecting my decision when I say no to something small. Thank you for letting me know you don't respect boundaries. And their phone background is a selfie. Repeatedly not following through, small things too. Hey. I'll talk to you later this afternoon. Nothing. I listen to this great song, I'll send it to you. Nothing. I just feel like those little moments are foreshadowing bigger things, disappointments to come. Someone who constantly interrupts. When they give non apologies after doing something wrong, like I'm sorry to see you feel that way instead of I'm sorry for what I did. Or, that's just the way I am. Or why do you care so much? Or it's not a big deal. When they can't be happy when their friends succeed in the ways they haven't. If your jealousy is that profound, I don't want to be around you. When they don't turn down the music in the car so they can see better when parking, clearly a psychopath. When their opinions on the same topics change depending on who they are with. Edit. I wanted to clarify that I mean this for when people actively have different opinions about the same subjects all in the same day or week, not enough time to change their mind and if they change it that often then it still stands. You have no idea where someone stands if they consistently change their mind on things and therefore I wouldn't trust them.
I do not mean for this to apply to people who are just passively agreeing or not arguing in order to keep the peace with family or in a work situation. That's just being polite. Any interviewer that brags about the family atmosphere at work or puts too much emphasis on the culture. We work really hard but we're like family, so it's totally okay if we take advantage of you. They don't use their blinkers. They start talking about their essential oil slagging make up any business. When they talk mad shit about everyone around them to you, and since it's all nonsense you just let it go in one ear and out the other, but the moment you vent a frustration they run and tell everyone this exaggerated story which makes you look awful and the whole time you know they're the fire starter but you can't say anything without looking petty. And that's how I quit my job. Y'all have fun with that. When they are super nice to me, compliment the hell out of me and want to be best friends right away. Immediately makes me suspicious and I put my guard up. I assume they have ulterior motives and are trying to establish a false rapport with me in order to throw me off their scent. A user named Mayor Nipples checks out, automatically distrusting you now. Trying to change your mind after you say no instead of being respectful and letting the matter drop. If you make a snarky or rude comment to me disguised as something neutral or helpful. Only something I've encountered with other women, honestly. It's something you pick up on if you pay attention, but it's usually really subtle. Here's an example to paint a picture. I was recently at a work event next to a chocolate fountain talking to one of my male co-workers friends for a couple of years, totally platonic, and while his back is turned for me for a minute, this woman, whom I've never spoken to, but see around work, walks up to me and says you have chocolate on your face. I thought oh shit home girl looking out and asked her where, twice, and she ignored me despite being right next to me. I was standing by the fountain but hadn't eaten any chocolate. So I pulled my coworker friend over again and asked him if I had anything on my face and he said no, checked a mirror too. She made it obvious the rest of the event that she was into him, and wanted me to step aside so she could talk to him. It all felt like such high school let me assert my dominance to hide my insecurity bullshit. I don't trust people who don't have the self-confidence to command attention or respect without being catty or bringing others down. The way too hard handshake. A firm handshake is great but some people make it weird. When they put a hand on your shoulder, squarely look you in the eye, smiling with a fat grin, and confidently say trust me. Something about when a person tries too hard to be somebody they obviously are not. I've realized some people can pick up on that and some can not. Edit, spelling. When they have to keep saying believe me. They make up an answer for something instead of saying, I'd married my husband in part because I told him my car was making a funny noise and could he help. He said, I can open the hood. I can look at it. I can say, yep, yeah, that looks like an engine. After that I'm lost. When they litter. I don't know why but as soon as someone throws a wrapper out the window I immediately lose all faith in that person. Like you can hold it for an hour. If you can't hold on to a thing that long, how long will you hold what I tell you? When they don't respect people's boundaries. Borrowing things without asking, asking personal questions when you're not close, borrows a small amount of money and doesn't pay it back, etc. Anybody who will tell you their IQ number. When they come on really strong seeking my friendship. In my experience, anyone who starts out with intense flattery, saying things like let's be best friends, inevitably turns into a jealous, undermining asshole within months. Healthy people seek friendships with people they like. Unhealthy people pressure you into intense BFF dom, suck up your energy, then belittle and discard you. Passive aggression, e. g. Instead of telling me what the problem is, doing a bunch of petty shit seemingly to retaliate and expecting me to know why. 
when they say that catapults are the superior siege engine. When people don't vaccinate their children. When they don't wash their hands after using the bathroom. People who are mean to animals.